Welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo, and we are back in our campaign of EU4 uh, with Ethiopia. And last time, uh, we unified more or less all of this Horn of Africa region. Uh, we are already pushing forward to the Mamluk country, and we will soon be interfering with the Ottoman Empire especially as we took uh, Syria as our as our vessel which should give us the um, the Casus Belli to attack the Ottomans later on I mean they are really big at the moment but at least in Europe they are um, they're a bit. Uh, they are not too too pushed forward. I mean, they pushed towards the Mamluks. This uh, was to be expected, especially as we were pushing from the south, and the Mamluks are really not not um, working well in this campaign. I mean, they are behind us on tech, I believe two stages behind tech or something like that. We have a military tech 7, diplomatic 7, uh, admin 6 and uh, we are at 10, 11, 11. So there are four techs behind us. The Spanish square. Hmm. New set of warriors. And our supply limit will go up. This will be rather interesting for us, Tech 12. <coughs> because in our country there is uh, a lot of problem with um, supply limits. And with, um, what's it called? Um, yeah, whatever. Loss by not getting food. <laughs> okay. Uh, we wanted to do some more in the south. Uh, first of all, I want to get all of the coast down there to even further our grip on the Zanzibar trade node. Also, uh, for a second step to move inwards to get some, some uh, gold country there. <coughs> uh, can we, can we see the trade goods? Yeah, there it is. Sofala will be a nice first step to the gold mines. It's, it's, um, also ivory is not a bad, um, is not a bad trade good. I mean, it's not super valuable. But it's more valuable than most. So, first of all, we want to get uh, the estuaries and the gold mine of Sofala, and in the second war, we'll take these uh, three regions. Yeah, that's the plan. So, two wars to get all this. And then we are happy with South Southern Africa, probably, um, until the Europeans come, which they will, eventually. So we have a diplomat, so let's do it. Declare war on Angosh. I believe ah, they are not that far behind as the Mamluks. They're only at level ten, so they have a. Um, so we have a tech advantage, uh, but I believe we also we probably have a lot of um, people's advantage. I mean, they are at war at the time, so yeah, we've got more cavalry, ah, more infantry, much more infantry, much more artillery. Although I've got 
got only with with uh, 6,000 artillery down there but even with these two smaller armies we are much bigger also they are at war with Sakanaba which will be our next target for the Zanzibar node probably but yeah we will try to only get there yeah let, let's move here and where is the capital let's move here no let's move here here's the capital no here's the capital yeah let, let's take out this this castle first and with these 11,000 people we are we are taking the uh, coastline Trading in incense. Uh, tolerance of the true faith plus 0 0.5. That's good, I believe. Less, um, at least less. Um, yay, we have more uh, go there another coffee region also coffee is quite a nice trading good I mean I have a coffee at the time now <laughs> I don't think that we need Ebo or do we? probably probably we will take the whole thing down there we want the natural harbor we want the estuary of course we want that and we want Angosh because it's the it's the reason for this war but probably if we're able we could try to get to Madawanda and to Zimbabwe as well. There is also an estuary, a center of trade. Although it's the wrong, it's the wrong, um, uh, it's the wrong trade node. It's the Sambesi trade node. I really don't know why we should go there. Why do we have? Uh, why do we have? Uh, trade power there. There is no. Uh, I don't have any region of some basic trade node. I really don't know. I really, really don't know how this, um, how this works. Do we get the part of the trading um, of the trade node if we have uh, regions adjacent to it? Probably. How do we go? Uh, how how do we get this 0 0.36? Is there any is there any possibility to see how how we get that? How we get this trade power there? So we have a trade power of sixteen point three. Where does it come from? <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. So these two stay behind. We've um, we've got the Tanga. Um, I believe we have the um, 
yeah, we have this this edict on. So Mombasa and Malindi, and in Mombasa we are already um, doing the missionary stuff. So let's do the Malindi as well. It's rather expensive, but uh, what can you do? Ah, uh, we will get crashed. Ah, uh, probably we should again turn off the turn off the force. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll turn on this four, and we'll turn on this four. And we hope uh, that they are not going through this country. Probably they will. Eventually they will. We'll have to check on that later on. So, another 1,000, 2,000 stay here. And that's it. I know. Probably we should just get there. Well, stay here. Yeah. Mm. Wait a minute. Can we can we do something with our prestige? There is something I know that we can do, but I mean ah right at this moment we doesn't we don't really need that. the trade embargo and the divert trade and then we placate the ruler and then we'll take the prestige ha we are so cunning and we're still losing money of course because uh, this was uh, this is far more expensive than the um, than the religious change in Tanga. These two are really, really expensive, but they are rather good developed countries, uh, and it's really important for us to get them Coptic to uh, to get away our. Um, our intolerance matters. Is it also matters in English? So there are 16,000 Mutapa people going to Kilva. Yeah, that's okay. Let's go to Kilva. They probably don't know my regions north. I'll stay here. Clergy losing power. Okay. them seek support of course yeah let's grant monopoly charters mm -hmm. we could raise additional levies 
more recruited minister. Mm -hmm. Improve relations minister. Yeah, who who cares about them? We have um, little money. Minus 0 0.05. So probably after we are here in. Uh, here we will get some. Yeah, we are in at the at the positive because of the because of the uh, what's it called plundering <laughs> and they are plundering Kilva, of course. Anyway, we will hold up hold out especially as um, we have some bonuses here no go away with your 7000 people Really? Are you serious? Uh. No one needs that much of um, of people at the siege. Mm. But probably he has some guns with him. Yes, he has some guns with him. So it's he's welcome. He's welcome there. We have 23 day siege pips. That's good. We are working through. So let's move on. You here, you here, you here, nah, you here, no, <laughs> you here. You have 6,000 people, you are more than enough to get to Zimbabwe. And where are his sixteen thousand troops of him? I really don't know. They are gone. Probably somewhere here. So we should take care with these smaller stacks. with the 6,000 people stack. Mm. He didn't stay at Kilva anyway, but he didn't move upwards as well, because um, I believe it's not possible to get through here and here. These are wastelands, so he has to come through this area. We f so, we f so he has to go through Ghetto, to get to this un unpleasant area. We shouldn't have done the castle here, but but here in Afguye. This would be a better place because it would support all this region and no one could get from the south to our country. Because from Dava you can only go here. And if you go to Gedu and there is a castle, you can't get through. But probably to after. Mm, I'm not sure. Probably it wouldn't help at all. Mm, I don't know. Let's 
stop. There are the 16,000 troops. We need some guy holding him off. going to long there. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's good. Now you're going to Zimbabwe. And there are some separatists. That's okay. In us one, so it's near our borders to the Mamluks, but we have here some troops still. A few of them are still up here. So what do you do? So you're going to Mozambique. You're going to Lomwe. We are intercepting. He's still going to Mozambique. That's good. We're still going to intercept. Yeah, that's that. Come on, we'll have to be first there. Yeah, we are first there. That's good. Really? Oh, I see. We had also the Sac 11 fleet to help us. But we didn't lose a ship, the Sac 11s did. I hope so. At least. Hmm. Yeah, Zimbabwe will fall faster because it's just, I mean. Sakalavas have the same color as we have. This is oh, terrible. This is really terrible. So you go back to. Let's get back to Bayuda. I mean, it really looks the same. You can't call it. You, you can't see the difference. And I believe they're really the same color as we are. <laughs> um, we'll have to conquer them. <laughs> Uh, they, they, uh, yeah, they were doing peace deals with Sakalava. Improvements in trade technology gain inflation and diplomatic power, or just a little less diplomatic power. I mean, we have a lot of we have a lot of inflation right now because of the gold mines. Mm. Yeah, and I also see we have to 
take care of our diplomats again. First of all, no. First of all, let's put our diplomats somewhere. Hmm. Should we use caution or just ignore the inflation? We have we are behind on admin tech. Uh, but we are also doing a diplomatic um, focus. We also have a diplomatic focus, so idea group. So what's that? Liberty design subjects minus 15%. Integrated elites. Yeah. Core creation cost minus 10%. What's core creation cost? I mean, it's, that's uh, our admin cost, I believe. So we want to put that f faster there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got enough money at the time. to go and take this land probably if we take Angosh and Kelimane uh, and Sofala I mean these three we want to take anyway because they are first of all they are the gold mine they are uh, the estuary and they are the war goal I really don't know if we could probably also take Zimbabwe with uh, one of these or probably Masapa if we could take Manikia this would be great Manikia would be great because it's a four first of all we wouldn't have to fight him again so yeah it's Manikia that we want. So these three and Manikia, these are our special war goals. So let's see. We have 27 spy strength with Hormus. And therefore, let's take this. And let's come back. And we have 26 with um the Mamluks and we said we want this really hard remote is not vessel of the of the Mamluks anymore interesting so they are also oh yeah they are What? Fabricate claim. Why? Okay. Yes, and we took Zimbabwe. We select this guy, and now let's um, let's do a 
quick siege of mostly everything here. Mozambique as well. Tropical. No, we don't want Mozambique. It's terrible. Evil, probably. Nah. We just need these three. And Manikia. Okay, let's do this so we can spare some a bit of money. Mm, I mean, we have 76%, but they are still at medium enthusiasm. So let's go back to my main army here. Let's go to this army. Let's go there. Let's close in on. this we're going there we're already coming here ah can you just not pause when i'm trade dispute causes barely against Ottomans. They are threatening our trade. Really? Do they embargo us? Can you just not... Um, so we are at 99%. But they are still at medium enthusiasm because they have this big army still. Uh. Are the Ottomans probably... Yeah, they are our rivals and we are their rivals. Do we embargo them? No, why not? Come on. That's stupid. Okay. How about being on low enthusiasm now? Yeah, that's good. So, let's wait for the guy coming back and then uh, getting a getting a peace deal with Mutape. 
they probably will do whatever I want from them hopefully so we want these three and we want Manikia as well and if it's possible we want these as well oh this is um, terrible we are terribly wrecking them and they will give it to us but we also want money so if we take one less like this less can we take uh, war reparations yes Could take Bohera. So now we're at 100%. A coalition will form with just Mutapa. <laughs> yeah, they can form. Aggressive expansion relation penalty with 15 countries. Yeah, that's okay. Let's give us everything. everything we need uh, fine okay we have a lot of overextension we should do some nice things now <laughs> for some time we need a lot of admin points <laughs> okay at this point um, my dear friends I will stop um, for today and we will see each other soon hopefully and uh, in the uh, break between the two episodes I will try to figure out how to uh, get along with this really fast okay until then see you later <laughs>